Or good morning to you, Mike. Good morning, Shelley. It's great to be here. Like I was just out in California for an event they call the Spiritual Woodstock. We did this concert at Wealthy Street Theater. I think this Sunday afternoon, Grand Rapids Yoga for Peace is putting on this event. I was there with a number of the other top Kirtan artists. Kirtan artist and international teacher Michael Cohen to West Michigan. He raised enough to feed a thousand children. A thousand children. That's amazing. That sound like rock music, that sound like funk, that sounds like soul, electronica, world beat. We're taking the essence of this Eastern spiritual practice and blending it with modern musical influences. I got the CD, and I took it home, I think I played it like every day for like a month. A friend who also got the CD, whenever she was stressed out because she has to drive a lot for her work, she would put the CD on and she said that she pretty much wore it out <laughs> in her car. energetic quality that opens our heart and connects us to, to everything, uh, ourselves, others, and the divine. It's such a historical time that there's this opportunity for me to be working with my teachers to develop this different approach to kirtan. Dattatreya integrates the polarities of the opposites that are so vast and so profound we don't even consider them. We're like fish swimming in water, we don't even realize we're wet. Incredibly powerful. Now this is the genius and the brilliance of Swami Kaleshwar in this Dattatreya spiritual path, which includes Shirdi Sai Baba, the famous Indian saint, Jesus, great Indian saints Ramana Maharshi and Ramakrishna Paramahansa, and then mediated through my teacher, Philip Lippitz, who I've worked with intimately for a number of years. I have this incredible debt of gratitude and appreciation for this lineage. I'm someone who believes you ought to really have embodied something before you go out and teach it. working with people in the domains of leadership, musicianship, energetics, and spirituality over a period of time. And I'm a very pragmatic, practical kind of guy. Like really what I want to do is get people leading kirtan as quickly as possible. Mike's an amazing teacher. He, really, he makes it fun. I instantly felt relaxed and like I was in really good hands. I just really appreciate his perspective of beginning with the simplest chord and then adding a little bit and then once you master that you just add a little bit. Because he brings such a depth of himself, it allows me to do that too. It's just like total inner peace, and you don't want to leave. <laughs> That's in a nutshell. It's pretty much how we feel. I definitely felt a lot, an immense amount of energy just building up in my body to the point where it felt like I wasn't even doing it. The energy that goes through your body. You just feel it. The energy just either lifts you or it makes you clap or makes you smile or dance or 
move your shoulders or cry or something, you know. So there's something here, there's something here to that. He's just, you see him being courageous up there. It felt like, you know, you could really feel like you're in the center of just one heart.